Nobel Chemistry Prize, Lithium-Ion Battery Scientists Honored. Left, Right John B. Goodenow, M. Stanley Whittingham, Akira Yoshino. The lithium-ion battery enabled the mobile world. A bacterial motor as seen with cryo-electron microscopy. Three scientists have been awarded the 2019 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for the development of lithium-ion batteries. John B. Goodenow, M. Stanley Whittingham and Akira Yoshino share the prize for their work on these rechargeable devices, which are used for portable electronics. At the age of 97, Professor Goodenow is the oldest ever Nobel laureate. News from BBC, by Paul Rinken, science editor, BBC News website. All photos may not represent the story. Watch to learn English the way you've learned your mother tongue as this video is especially made. Professor of Chemistry Olaf Ramström said lithium-ion batteries had enabled the mobile world. The trio will share the prize money of 9 million krona, £738,000. The lithium-ion battery is a lightweight, rechargeable and powerful battery that is used in everything from mobile phones to laptops to electric cars. The Nobel Committee said, lithium-ion batteries are used globally to power the portable electronics that we use to communicate, work, study, listen to music and search for knowledge. Committee member Sarah Snodgerup Lintz, from Lund University, said, we have gained access to a technical revolution. The laureates developed lightweight batteries of high enough electrical potential to be useful in many applications. Goran K. Hansen, Secretary General of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences, where this year's awards were announced, said their development enabled a more sustainable world. In addition to their use in electric vehicles, the rechargeable devices could also store significant amounts of energy from renewable sources, such as solar and wind power. The foundation of the lithium-ion battery was laid during the oil crisis of the 1970s. M. Stanley Whittingham, 77, who was born in Nottingham, UK, worked to develop energy technologies that did not rely on fossil fuels. He discovered an energy-rich material called titanium disulfide, which he used to make a cathode, the positive terminal, in a lithium battery. Whittingham, who is now based at Binghamton University in Vestal, US, made the anode, the battery's negative terminal, from metallic lithium. This has a strong preference for releasing electrons, making it very suitable for use in batteries. This resulting device was able to release just over 2 volts, but the metallic lithium made it explosive. John B. Goodenow, who is American but was born in Germany, predicted that the cathode could be improved if it was made from a metal oxide, rather than a sulfide. In 1980, after searching for the ideal material, Goodenow, who is a professor at the University of Texas, Austin, used cobalt oxide to boost the lithium battery's potential to 4 volts. With Goodenow's cathode as a basis, Akira Yoshino, 71, created the first commercially viable lithium-ion battery in 1985. Yoshino, who was born in Osaka, Japan, works for the Asahi Keisei Corporation and Meijo University. Professor Ramstrom, a Nobel Committee member from the University of Massachusetts, Lowell in the US, commented, this battery is such a very, very good battery. It's high powered with high energy efficiency, so it has found applications almost everywhere. Bonnie Charpentier, president of the American Chemical Society ACS, commented, in the face of increasing threats from extreme climate change, today's announcement shines a welcome bright light on the portability of energy that has enabled unprecedented advances in communication, transportation and other tools to support critical aspects of life around the world. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.